Here I'm going to show you the easiest way to make a threshold alert in Excel. So let's say that we want to monitor total sales and we are inputting the final data here for Deckard and he is having a great month and we have hit our threshold. We get a little pop-up threshold met total sales 275 for 30. And this can say whatever you want it to say. It doesn't matter if the cell has changed on this worksheet or another worksheet. I'm going to show you how to control all of that. And even though it requires a little tiny bit of code, everyone can do this. I promise. But if you want to further automate your workbooks, make sure to check out my full Excel VBA course. It'll take you all the way from beginner to expert level step by step and save you hours of time. I'll put a link to it below this video and it might even be on sale. But now let me show you how to make this. It is so easy. We hit Alt F11 to go to the VBA window. Then we go over here and double click this workbook. If you don't see this window, hit View and go to Project Explorer. And you want to make sure that you're working in the project for your workbook. So you'll see the name of your workbook right here. Now, what we're going to do is to make all of this code, but it's really, really, really easy. The first thing that you want to do once you're in this workbook is to hit this drop down over here, go to workbook, this drop down right here, and go to sheet change. Then we can delete this, give it a bit more space. And all we want to do here, it's a two part thing. We check the cell that we care about. Then we do something in this case, a message box. So we go if space, and now we just need to get the value of the cell that we care about. So we type a worksheets to reference a specific worksheet. This time it's the sales worksheet, then arrange a specific cell F three, or you can input the name of that cell. If it's a named range, then dot value, then the comparison. Uh, let's see if it's greater than 200,000. Then we go then hit enter. Don't forget the end if to close it up. And what do we want to do now? How about a little message box? Threshold met. And there you go. And you can do that for as many checks as you want. You check your condition right here. And then what do you want to do right here? If we want to check another cell, how about we just copy that, go down here, paste it in, and let's see if F4 is greater than 10,000. There you go. And this is the easiest way to do it. There's so much more you can do to make it more robust and to adjust more things in your worksheet. It's a really cool what you can do with VBA and automation. So I highly recommend you check out my full course on teachexcel.com. There's a link below this video. It's really going to show you so many cool things that you can do here. And the last thing I want to show you is how to make the message box a bit more interesting than just threshold met. So let's go back to just this guy up here. And once you're outside of the quotation marks, we go space ampersand space VB new line right there. And I hit control space to fill that in for me. And VB new line is the same thing as hitting enter in a word document. So it goes to the next line. So we can do another one, VB new line. And now a little trick to go to the next line within our code, we do an underscore. There's so much cool stuff you can do in VBA. Now let's go here and let's go total sales space, close up the quote, ampersand, and let's input this value. So I'm going to grab it. If you are getting a little bit more advanced with your code, you would probably set this to a variable, but we want to make things easy here. And that's how you can make it easy. Check a threshold and get an alert. If you like this tutorial, make sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe and hit the bell icon so you can get all of my new tutorials and I'll see you next week.